Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Well, today I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, but that's okay. But I still enjoy making videos, so let's carry on. Today's video, we find ourselves in Clarksville, Tennessee, with Jeremiah Payne, a.k.a. Uh, Last Days of Freedom, All Letters America of America, Last Days of Freedom, a.k.a. The Ultimate E-Beggar. At any rate, he finds himself uh, recording uh, on one of his neighbors getting arrested. Why would I care about this arrest and not his? Well, he's been issuing a lot of false copyright strikes lately. And, well, I'm going to challenge him to try to do it on this one, dude. Go ahead and try it. I mean... It's not going to work out for you anyway, but anyway, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Let him take care of his business, okay? Well now, so far I am not seeing the officers try to uh, arrest Jeremiah for holding a camera on them, which pretty much goes against the narrative that frauditors always uh, go by is that cops are afraid of the camera and uh, that they'll arrest you on the spot for it. But you know what? That's just their stupid little narrative. Let's just carry on with the show, shall we? Oh shit. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm also half deaf. He's gloving up, buddy. He's going to go hands on. Well, no shit. Mm hmm. They don't put them gloves on unless they're going to grab your ass. I am doing my best not to have a heart attack. So, I apologize. That's why I stuck around. I was going to leave until I saw him. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, Jerry, such riveting content. It seems also different since uh, you're not the one who's uh, screaming at the officers acting all stupid. I mean, there's not just nothing here. Why do you even put this up to begin with? I mean, it's totally uninteresting, to me at least. Can I go? <laughs> Perhaps you should uh, go over to Walmart and uh, put yourself in the middle of that uh, active shooting over there. And that'd probably a bit be a bit more interesting. You know, it's more exciting when bullets are flying around you. I mean, go ahead and do that and make yourself a liability to the other cops in the area. I mean, that should be fun and more entertaining. Can you uh, do me a favor, please, and walk me over there so I can talk to my girlfriend while you're doing this, please? Don't bother. Okay. Just a minute. Like I said, we're going to pick you in the back of the 
before? Yeah, I know, I didn't do it before. May I ask you why I'm being arrested and he's not since he uh, threatened me as well, please? Okay, why? Why? What have I done? No, 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 sir, sir, I would like to ask what I have done that he has also not done. So did he. So did he. So did he. I was going to call the police, so did he. I would also like to press charges for assault then, right now. I'm dead serious, sir. I would like to press charges for assault. Why? Why? Why is that not a possibility? I defended myself, sir. Okay, can you can, can you at least please walk me to my girlfriend, please? Can you walk me to me? No, I, I would like to please talk to my girlfriend so I can give her a hug. I'm, I'm trying to walk to the park. Does this happen often at your motel? Because you know what? I would be looking for a uh, much better uh establishment if i were you because well i hear the uh bridge down the road has a vacancy underneath it maybe you should go live there it's a lot quieter except for whenever uh heavy uh vehicles such as semis go over it but other than that it's all right and certainly a lot safer i'm trying i'm well aware quite honestly personally i would prefer snapping my neck than going back to jail but yeah I'm not stupid, I'm not gonna fucking kill myself, I'm not a dude. I don't even understand what I've done wrong. I, all I did was defend myself because she threatened me and she threatened me. Man, is that your daughter Skylar in the wagon right there? I mean, man, what a shame. What, uh, this is truly a shame that you're letting her see all this. This isn't very good parenting, is it? I mean, if I were you, I would have had her back in the motel so she wouldn't have seen all this. But hey, that's your parenting style and, uh, well, let's see what happens if CPFs ever gets involved with you again. Which is bound to happen sooner or later. And you know what? I'm sure they'll be able to find a better home for your uh, child than out on the streets like you like to uh, do. And uh, there'll be a lot less uh, issues with uh, n narcotics and everything like that. So, yeah, I'm sure it'll happen at any rate. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one.